it is very important that it works as a platform. You know, it is not a linear business. All about how big the platform is, how many players get connected to that platform. We now have created uh, consciously a platform which is completely technology neutral. It is uh, service neutral, all inclusive. And that's what the Internet of Thing is. It is the third revolution happening. So after the industrial and the communication revolution or the Internet revolution, this is the third revolution that is happening in the world. This becomes the thought platform uh, because it's, it's a classically neutral place where people can share thoughts, share ideas, experiences. This one event could really propel the, um, the IoT movement in India. We've had 65 speakers. We've got six keynotes, two super keynotes, seven used cases, and two awards, the Thought Leadership Awards and the Startup Awards. We have had two secretaries from the government coming in, one to open, inaugurate, and one to close the awards. We had people coming from United States, US, Europe, uh, United Kingdom, Germany, Japan, Sri Lanka. So I think this is creating a platform where we are able to get cross-functional people, the doyens of the industry who have had leadership positions and who really know what subject matter experts in this and try to see how we can build a system as fast as possible. I think a lot of new technologies can create new business models. Uh, some of us are adopting it faster than others. So it's, it's really exciting to be here now. Finally I'm here at the IoT India Congress. I'm just loving the buzz and the energy out here. I'm really feeling extremely enthusiastic and feeling extremely happy that the first Congress has been so successful. The government is one of key key players in this because they are the biggest consumers of, or would be the biggest consumers of IoT. So it's very important to have them. Plus they're the regulators as well. So they play the dual role of a customer and a regulator. I believe that some of the learnings that we've had over the, over the last two days will be communicated back to the government, to the department, and that will be incorporated in some form or shape as a stakeholder consultation into the policy. IoT is a global industry. It's a, it's, it's a global environment. There's all sorts of products and services can be taken from India and pitched into that global market. This event should not be stopped at this stage, but it should also continue this event here afterwards. I think uh, this is going to be good, and going forward, I emphasize that this is going to spread its wings of course, it's going to be an annual event. There's no doubts at all because that demand is already there. As we view India as a unique market that's really ready to explode. So there, the cost dynamics of the Internet of Things really require incredible scalability and very low cost. And in India, we find a market where the government is really starting to sponsor it uh, and getting strong support for Digital India, strong support for smart cities. So we're investing heavily here. Uh, we just opened an office in, in Noida. We've got about 35 people and we'll be up to 100 people by the end of the year. So we had four, four tracks this time, you know, healthcare, uh, retail, uh, smart cities, and manufacturing. Now this is just a drop in the ocean. There are many more things. So there's agriculture which needs to be talked about. Artificial intelligence, cognitive uh, thought processes, these are all coming in. These, these are the things which will get added on. I think this conference is a great platform uh, for startups and industry leaders to come together and innovate at a great pace. And it allowed us a lot of room for, you know, a broader room for discussion. We had more time. Uh, so unlike any other conference that I have been to. More than 50% of the attendees uh, work from the CXO level. Uh, more than 40% uh, of the companies uh, participating were from the Fortune 500 companies and another 40% were from the MSMEs and startups. Close to 18 associations partnered with us from all across the globe. It was a fantastic event that uh, attracted delegates from all over the world and I'm surprised at both the number and the quality of people who were at the event. The Congress was truly an international event. This is undoubtedly the biggest platform for IOP in this country. And if you're not part of it, you're missing something big. See you there.